welcome to this tutorial if you haven't clicked on the subscription button please do so and enable the notification bell so that anytime I upload content you get notified so today we are going to learn how you're going to be operating in Microsoft Office Word so we're going to start by creating a new folder I shall name it office and we're going to start by learning how we create document files so to create a file you can either two options either you click right click in the space the folder you created then you select new then you say document then you give the your document a name maybe operation that's the first way the second way is to come to your application list look for microsoft office word open it blank document then after you have this one you do your work and after you come to file you save us this pc go to the desktop remember you created a folder called office open the office this is the operation folder so this one also i name it operation 2 operation two so those are the two ways how we create our new documents now the documents so now we are going to do some editing so we are going to get some information from the internet I come to wikipedia get some uh, news 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 I'll position my cursor where I want to start from then I hold the right click down then I select all of this then after I've reached here I can use ctrl C or I can right click in the text and copy but ctrl C does the same that's one of the shortcut you'll be using in office word then I can paste text here again I paste text here so this is the text we, we copied from Wikipedia so I'm going to add a title we are going to name it news news today and we put it on the flash line by pressing enter then we shall use this to either do this or center line it so as you see now you can use left in there right in there so should use to center line it you use this to change its font size you can increase it or just use your scale then you can use this to change its handwriting font sorry then you can use this for underlining then you can use to change its color give it blue then after I've looked at this maybe you wanted to highlight some useful information for example you need to highlight for them this word news you'd select it and come here and highlight it for them and maybe you need to highlight this one and select it and highlight it to make it uh, visible quickly to the people reading the news then the rest the rest here is simple here is just increase text uh, here reduce then maybe if you wanted to make this all capital at once you'd use here uppercase it all becomes capital so that's what you do here changing font size Maybe if you needed to change also the line spacing between this color, this this text, you would highlight all of them with Ctrl A. Ctrl A allows everything. You come here at paragraph, then you look at lines. So maybe if you needed a single, you change depending on what you want. As as you have seen, it has come into a bit compressed. So here you, are, you can you are free again to change to multiple because it was in multiple multiple of uh, 1.8 1.5 like that see so I'll take it to single to make it like that so that's what we basically do here then we go to insert insert you can insert tables you can insert images for example I need to insert here a table I would move there let us inserting a black page. I go where I want to insert the black page from. 
example here and say blank page say the blank page has appeared here down so where you want to insert the blank page that's why you put the cursor if you put the cursor here for example i put it here and i say insert blank page see it has taken my text to the next page yet i never wanted it to take it so i'll control z to, to undo or i can use this then to insert a table you also you come here you want a table there then you select the table you want and insert the table so you can format the design you want because there are different designs here as you see in the table shading so there are different design there so i go back to insert then you can insert an image for example it has downloaded one image for news from internet news need image mm. use this one what's news today I right click on it save as image then I will save it to desktop so it will download then I come back here where do I want to set my image for example I need to insert it uh, between here select there i come insert photo this pc desktop this is our image we put so you have seen it has appeared here so go back to insert where we are so basically this is what we see that what we shall be covering here insert insert images maybe when your images are online then you can also insert other shapes maybe you wanted to to insert a triangle, rectangle. So we shall be seeing how we use also these shapes to come up with something. So you can also add a smart chart. This is where you come, for example, you add a chart, maybe on it some organization. So you use this, insert this, then you insert it. So it would appear also. So you tell you to put anything you want, maybe Monday. like that just editing so that's how we insert charts and edit them maybe you needed to insert page number use will also insert them so they would also appear but if I close the head and footer I'm still on the insert so having looked at the insert we can go ahead And move on to design so here design here design you are free to select any theme you want so, but basically what you use here you need to put a watermark mark your name just come here custom watermark then I type in your name so I'll leave it as that and apply and it will appear there as a watermark as you see it has come so that's the text in the background this way so maybe page color you change your page to any color you feel like as you see our watermark is also there maybe if you also needed to add borders you'd add them from here page borders you select any type that is there for example if you needed this one you also select this and you can also select where you need them did this as your border you just say okay and you see your text has got a border so that's what we'll be doing on this on the design here so we, when we move we go ahead to layout layout maybe you needed to divide this for example this column this or this this paragraph into two columns you would come here and say more columns two line in the middle and you would have it divided into two columns then uh, in margins you would set them to any size you want orientation is the position of paper paper size size will depend on the printer you have so from there I'll choose the paper size you want 
so that is it reference maybe we'll add uh, in uh, footnotes and end notes mm, this one this one we shall look at it at later stage mail merge basically that's what we'll be doing with this with your day-to-day -day of office maybe if you needed this you can also format this image you say maybe I want uh, it behind text you would select the image then you say behind text so have you seen that my paragraph has moved behind it my image has moved behind the text so I control Z to show you see I've selected the image then I wrap text then I say move behind text have you seen that has moved behind the text and I can also change this text to make it visible by highlight all of it and change the color I come here change the color maybe to white for it to be visible if not visible can choose another color that will make it visible I can also insert maybe world art from here depending on what I want so basically that's how you'll be interacting with it.